welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and today we should be able to secure Blackwater Bay and push out the remainder of Stannis supporters. Also, we have a new subscriber knight who has joined the Bright Flame cause, as well as the final siege in this war for Dragonstone, the Siege of High Tide. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy thrones. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage. And let's get ready to play A Clash of Kings! Garion was Lord of House Dory, a lesser house in the city-state of Volantis. As one of the heads of the Tiger political party in Selhoris, he was convinced that a major Dothraki horde was marching for the spoils of old Volantis. So he summoned the Tigers of the city, who gave him little support for his concerns. With pressure from the rival Elephant Party and the corrupt political system of the city, wiser words were ignored. The Tigers and the Elephants would argue, these Dothraki are not priority. We need our fleet to stop the Dragon Whore and Marine. Our purses are light and slave trade must continue. Garion summoned both parties and the Triarch himself to Volantis. He argued that a portion of the army should march to the Lower Rhoyne and counter the Dothraki incursion. This idea gave his rivals, the Elephant Party, the fuel they needed to plot against him. They spewed lies claiming he was serving Daenerys and weakening the city by sending the army away. For this, Garion was persecuted and shamed by his enemies and allies alike. Was it Valerian, Meraxes, or Vega? Who knows? But one of the old gods of Valyria must have blessed him this day, for he managed to flee the city. Though his efforts brought only doom upon his house and family. Garion took the long journey across the narrow sea in hopes of taking up arms for King Brightflame. Garion dreamed of returning to that wretched city of Volantis and taking his personal revenge with pride and glory in his heart. Introducing our new subscriber knight, created by subscriber MN. Here he is, Garion Dorian. He has and will be a wise counsel for King Baylor. And on this day, I knight you. Sir Garion of House Dorian, may you bring your king loyal counsel. And also, guys, I want to thank again Subscriber MN for bringing this great character with great lore for all his likes, all his comments, and being a huge part of the community here. And guys, if you want to be a subscriber knight, just like MN here, just like James Lale, all you got to do is leave constructive feedback in the comment section, like videos often, and of course, guys, be a subscriber well now we've got some important things to do we've got to finish off dragonstone guys we've got a siege to do so i'm going to get out of here and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about king baylor has been extremely frustrated with dragonstone lords so guys after the last episode and after that, that terrible show by, by baylor himself um i went through and i spent a lot of time battling the remaining Dragonstone Lords, and I have captured as many as I could possibly get. I've got Justin Massey, I've got Sir Davil Seaworth, I've got Lord Celtigar, we've got quite a bit. And it looks like High Tide is ready to go. All we got is Salador Sand and Sir Andrew Estermont, who are holding the garrison here in High Tide. But guys, the garrison's very manageable. We've got, what, 260 men in the garrison? Very doable. Also, guess what? Berenger Perrin, he, had, he is finally free, so guys, he can help us out in our war, and uh, also we got Grasmanzo Patton. So guys, we are ready to go. We are ready to siege High Tide, but I want to show you what I've done with my personal army really quickly. Um, of course, I've got Sir Gary and Dorian, uh, my new trusted companion and knight, all the way over from Volantis. Also, we've got Sir James Lale, the songbird, and then I've got my brother and sister. And some various lords. But what I've done is I have grabbed all the longbowmen I have. The best longbowmen I have. Which isn't very many. I think I have a little bit more than 20. And I'm going to have Garrett Longley lead my archers. Lead my longbowmen in this siege. Hopefully I can set them up to maybe weaken the walls a little bit. Before I send in my veteran south. Sellsword halberdiers. Also guys I've got a few knights here and there. 
I've also got some Stonehelm Knights and some Tarth Knights that I've picked up from various battles and for, from some garrisons. So guys, we're ready to go, but I think on the next episode, we're going to have to go and secure our kingdom and uh, pick up some more knights, pick up some more longbowmen before we start our war against the Stormlands. Of course, as you know, if you've watched previous episodes, we also have a lot of other things we need to do before we start our war against the Stormlands. But guys, target number one will be Duskendale once we get this war started with the Stormlands. But guys, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go on to high tide and see if we can siege this. We weren't so lucky the first time around. But I think we can make it. I think we have we have weakened them to where this is this is it. This is all they have left. So let's get our army going. I think I have enough food to go. I know I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Let's build the ladders, guys, and let's do it. Oh, you're resting on a bench in a small village, sitting near the village center. You overhear the many conversations people are having. The gossip, the rumors, the anger, and the happiness. There are so many interesting things going on in the world. Hmm. The world is my playground. So, guys, once we get this siege going, we're going to cut right back. So, I'm going to see you guys in a second. All right, man, let's set up. I want my archers over here on this hill. I set my infantry, my cavalry back, house bright flame on me. Already lost the Vell Archer. Already lost the Vell Archer. Come on, come on, man. Hold back, hold back, hold back. Infantry, let's, let's stay back. All my knights stay back. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can see my archers doing a good job over here. Where are my archers? There's my archers. I got a good bit of longbowmen. Okay, I'm going to set you up in a better spot, guys. Oh, yeah. This is this is the good spot. And where is Garrett Longley, indeed? Where is he? Oh, look at these guys. They're, they're, they're doing some work on the walls here. They're doing some work. Oh, there's Garrett Longley down there. <coughs> Garrett Longley is fantastic with the longbow. I must give it, must give it to him. And uh, House Bright Flame, I want you guys to hold back. In fact, hold back. I don't want you guys injured too early. There's Grasmo's old Patton. James Lale! James Lale! Where is... Oh, there's my Unsullied. See if I can find... There he is! Gary and Dorian. There he is. Oh, look, he's firing away with his longbow. Fantastic! Oh, we're not looking good, though. Not looking good. Hmm. Gary Longley is a beast. See if we can weaken these walls a little bit better before we send our men up. Yeah, we're, we're losing a few long bowmen here. Who are these guys? Vel Levy. Vel Levy, you hold back, Vel Levy. What are you doing? Boy, look at Garrett Lonely. He's just firing away. I need to give him a better bow, in fact. Okay, hmm. All right, infantry charging. Infantry charging, infantry! Let me see you go forward, men. Hopefully, we're going to get a little bit of support from our archers, but it looks like they're going down pretty severely. Pretty severely. Yep. Yep. Their archers are pretty tough. Come on, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And it looks like I don't have a ton of uh, halberdiers going in. It looks like it's a lot of their men, in fact. And then break through, break through, break through. Let's see if we can get our archers a little bit closer to support our men going up the walls. Garrett Longley still doing the business. Uh, let's see. Um, House Brightling, stay back for now. Stay back for now. See if we can get up there, in fact. Oh, man. We're losing a lot of men up there. But those are weak men. Those aren't my men. Those are mainly, uh, let's see, Lord Perrin's men. Oh, we've lost nine men already, though. In fact, hey. I don't know about that. I'm losing just as many as my men. I think most of them were archers, though. And not the best archers. I need to get some Veil Longbowmen. There's some, uh... Probably the best Longbowmen to get in the game is House Targaryen Elite Longbowmen. But, uh, maybe later. Maybe later. All right, looks like my men are finally getting up there, guys. Once we make a little bit more progress, we're going to cut back and we're going to storm in with House Bright Flame itself. So, guys, I'm going to see you in a second. I've got the full force of House Bright Flame right here around me. House Bright Flame, Trojan! Trojan, House Bright Flame, get up there! And then I'm gonna have the knights on me. Come on, knights. James Lale, James Lale, what, what are you doing, good sir? Get up there, get up on those walls! I need to kick his ass up there. Get up there! Come 
Oh man, come on, come on! Oh, Sir Andrew Estermont is up there getting some kills. Darren Brightflame getting a kill. Oh man, push up for my knights. Knights on me. Knights on me. Come on, knights. Knights charge. I'm gonna have to tell them to charge to get on me proper. Oh my goodness, guys. We have uh, taken some serious casualties. This is a difficult siege indeed. Can you get up there and get some hits? Help my men out. Come on, guys. You need to push through here. You need to push through, man. Come on, man. Charge through, man. Charge through, charge through. Okay, I'm gonna have high spread flame. Follow me. I'll spray flame on me. Oh, looks like we've got. Oh my goodness. This is where the action is. Oh no, oh no. Oh my goodness, knights charge. Make sure those knights are charging. All, right, all the archers are here. We need to we need to get rid of these archers. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Thank you, Halberdier. How, thank you. Oh, look at son of a gun! Guys are caught in the corner. Wow, it's like there's <laughs> a million guys. Okay, house right flame. House right flame on me. Come on, guys. Are there more guys stuck back there? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, guys. Push forward, push forward, man. How's right lane, push forward. Wow, this is, uh, this is a punishing siege. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, I think we're finally getting some headway here. Oh, I just want to say that. Look at this. God, that guy's tough. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Knights, charge up. Come on, men. How are you, man? Come on, charge, 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 charge. All right, get my knights in there. Okay, something was stuck up here, apparently. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How many, how many? Okay, we're doing better. Mainly wounded men. Okay, finally, the rest of my men are getting up here. Finally! I think I've lost uh, one member of Bright Flames left. Gary and Dorian just, just went down. Oh my goodness, guys. This was a difficult siege. We lost so many men. All these sieges are becoming difficult, frankly. I'm concerned to start getting into a... Uh... Get these men out of here. Leave my men alone. I'm just fearful how they're going to get much worse the deeper into Westeros we get. And I'm losing just tons of men here. What do we got? Oh, I think this is the last 94 men left. Yeah, my hobbies are not the most effective in these close quarters. Oh, God, most of them are getting out their swords. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh shoot! Oh no, I'm getting overrun, getting overrun! Oh no, 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 no! Alright, we gotta fight, we gotta fight through, man! We gotta fight through, man! Oh man, charge in! We gotta fight through this! I 
don't know who's my man, who's their man. Alright, that's my man. Alright, those archers are causing serious problems, guys. Those archers are causing... Oh, man. Alright. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Don't be too foolish. Right, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go! Okay, man. Charge forward, charge forward, charge forward! All right, we're gonna take this castle right here. This is the last stronghold right here! All these archers. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. They are definitely targeting the king. Don't you dare target me, good sir! Don't you dare! Alright, all right, I'm gonna hide behind here. I'm, I feel like I'm one arrow away from going down. I'm not taking a wound today. I don't believe so. I think we... I think this is the last bit of men. This is the last bit of men. Push forward, man. Push forward. Oh, my gosh. There is a cluster of them up here. Come on, men. You can do it. You can do it. We've got him surrounded, man. We've got him surrounded. Wow, look at this. Come on, more halberdiers coming up. We've got this, man. We've got this. We've got this. Finish them all. Finish them all. Guys, we have got this. That is it. I believe that's the last five men. Oh, look at the bloody violets. Finish them. Yes, man. Yes. We have done it, guys. We have taken High Tide, the last Dragonstone stronghold. And I almost died. That was close, but not, not super close. So, guys, let's get out of here and uh, see what the damage is. We lost. We lost ourselves. 20 men. Oh, my God. This is getting serious, guys. We lost. It's 10 long bowmen. I basically sacrificed them. And then uh, four veteran sellsword halberdiers. So, we're going to need to go over to Essos and replace those men very soon. And then various men are killed a couple of nights a Stonehelm Knight. That's unfortunate. Allied casualties um, were 32. Wow, so I lost as many as my men, it seems. And then enemy casualties, we, we destroyed them. Um, look, let's look at the kill count. I love it. This. Rainey's with six kills. Darren with nine. Garen with only one. Grasno with one. Baylor with 30. And Garrett with 10. Look at Garrett Longley. Ah, here's a sip to Garrett, Rainey's, Darren, and... uh. Sir Garion for his first kill. Congratulations. Unfortunately, I don't seem to see James Lale on here yet. <laughs> You'll get there, James. You'll get there. And uh, Sir Estermont has escaped. And Salador Sand, unfortunately. Oh, those bastards. I'll take a sip of my tasty beverage, guys. Mm. So I think we're going to replace our men. We'll just pick up uh, as many men as we can, especially the best ones. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take the rest of these guys just to fill up the garrison for now. And then, um, yeah, I can't pick up any of these prisoners. I think I need to increase my, uh, my prison management. I also built a prisoner tower, guys, in Dragonstone so I can hold all these lords and especially King Stan so I don't have to travel around with them. So, guys, I think that's it. We're done. Let's access the item pool. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff. We need some money. All the money we can get. Okay, so, hmm, I think for now, um, <laughs> I'm going to keep it for myself for now, um, but guys, on the next episode, we're going to be handing out feats to some of our, our companions that will be lords, uh, let's see, we'll share it equally amongst all my vassals, um, but guys, yeah, that's what we're going to do, we are going to be distributing high tide and Claw Isle to some new lords. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to secure Dragonstone. Start recruiting and get ready for the next war against the Stormlands. But first of all, I just wanted to check out this keep. This is really nice. And um, of course, my lady, you may leave. Get the hell out of my castle. Get the hell out. And uh, yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yep. Yep. Um, you may leave. You may leave. Let's get out of here and uh, check out the courtyard as well and some other kind of interesting things about here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were just here fighting it out. There's Sir James Lale. There's Gardner Pike. 
Very nice. And, um, let's see. What is this? Oh. Oh, some Driftmark Spearmen. Let's go ahead and recruit those guys while we're at it. Let's see. Driftmark Spearmen. Ah, very good. Now, let's talk to these guys and see, uh... Strength 4, that's pretty good. Iron Flesh of 9, that's pretty good, actually. They're not too bad. Uh, let's see your equipment. 40... Yeah, they're okay. Their equipment's not great, but um, I think there will be adequate troops, maybe to keep in the garrison. Wow, guys, what an episode! We finally pushed Dragon out of Blackwater Bay, and also a new subscriber knight has come to join House Bright Flame. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. It's also one of the ways you can become a subscriber knight right here on this channel. Also, guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, you need to make sure you go ahead and hit that right now. Again, guys, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on A Clash of Kings.